Hey guys, um, as you can probably tell, I am not exactly doing this planned. This is actually a very uh, on-the-fly video. I wasn't really planning on doing an update this month, only because I didn't know if I was going to have time to do an update. But um, I just got back from a Christmas Day party, hence the makeup. Um, and as you can probably tell in the background that something's happening and what's happening is that I am in the process of actually moving. So, uh, I'm no longer, um, going to be living in this lovely, um, townhouse. Um, for those of you that don't know what's really going on, um, about four months ago, or actually no, I think five months ago, myself and my mother sold our family home in Miami and moved to West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, well, what happened is that I, I was able to basically get used to it here and I was able to make friends and I was able to not necessarily fall in love with the town, but it's nice. It's not awful. It's, it's a nice town. You know, it has, it's, it has, just like any town it has its bad bad side and its good side and um it has good people bad people and has like certain areas that are really cool and certain areas that i really don't care for um just like any other town would be it has a character um but unlike me my mother did not um acclimate very well uh and my mom's the type of person that if she doesn't like you from the beginning or if she doesn't like something from the very beginning, she doesn't like it, period. Like, there's no, there's no way of winning her back or, or sort of changing her mind. It's, she's very headstrong and stubborn. And, um, yeah, but to the point that now she has, she's gone to all the trouble. Mind you, this is, from the moment we got here, she was like, okay, yeah, we're moving back. I'm like, mom, don't say that. We just moved here. We went to all the trouble. We spent so much money uh, with the moving and all that stuff. And she kept on going and kept on going. And then she got really depressed and grouchy more than usual because my mom is very, I'll be honest with you guys. My mom is a very grouchy, bitter um, old lady who's just, I mean, she's just, to say that she's bitter and grouchy is like sort of an understatement. It's sort of like making her sound like she's a cute little grouchy old lady when she's not cute grouchy old lady. Um, I mean, she's still a good person and I love her and, you know, and all that stuff, but she's not exactly the nicest person in the world. Um, but yeah, so to make a long story short, she decided that um, she was going to move back to Miami and for the last five months that we've been here she's been grouchy non-stop grouchiness and bitterness and just anger and mood swings uh, if she's not angry she's depressed and crying um, and she actually tries to make me feel bad if I become friends with someone here or if I like something in this town or if I want to have fun here or if I say something nice about it, she gets angry at me. She gets angry at me. I was like, this is not our home, kind of a thing. Um, so, yeah. So, she spoke to our real estate agent who sold us our old house um, back in Miami about finding a place in Miami for us to move back to. And uh, the problem is that my mom is so headstrong and so determined to move back to Miami that she doesn't realize that we have it better here than in Miami. Uh, I'm not saying anything bad about Miami because Miami rocks. Um, and I, I, I grew up there. I've lived all my life in, until right until now, until these five months that I've been in West, West Palm Beach. Um, but what my mom doesn't realize is that Miami, especially the area that my mom wants to move to is central Miami. And that is where the airport is. And that's where all the rent is so incredibly high. Um, the place that we're living in right now, that we won't in the next two days, 
Uh, I will be leaving in the next two days. But this place, it's 850 for a two bedroom, one bathroom townhouse, basically townhouse or and or um, condo, I guess you could call it. Um, yeah, it's more of a condo than a townhouse. But it, yeah, but but it's big. It's really it's spacious. It's nice. Um, the rooms are not so tight. You have you have space. Right. And it's only eight, 850. And in Miami, for something like this, it would be like maybe a thousand four hundred because it, this place also has like a pool, a gym, a sauna and all that cool stuff. Uh, it even has a banquet hall, uh, a game room, a library, a computer room. Um, obviously not in the house. I'm saying like the amenities. Uh, so, yeah, this place would be about probably a thousand. 400 or a thousand give or take at most a thousand four hundred of rent just the rent alone in Miami yet my mom expects the same space in that area for somewhat around the same money and it's like telling her no 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 it's not happening this is not happening no you're not getting that it, you're going to have to spend more money. And she's like, no, that can't be possible. It's like, it, it doesn't register in her because she's so determined to move that it doesn't, you know, she's really, she's, she's, she's bullheaded. Um, I think I said that right. <laughs> um, stubborn beyond her, stubborn, just stubborn. She does not listen to reason whatsoever. So the real estate agent, what she ended up doing was that she bought, no, she didn't buy, but uh, she has a, a buyer from another country who wants to buy real estate to rent out and the place that um, the person's interested in is a house with two efficiencies in the back now the house is a thousand eight hundred a month to rent it's a three bedroom two bathroom and my mom was like yeah that's what we could we could go there and I'm like you do realize it's a thousand eight hundred and she's like why is it a thousand eight hundred it's only a three bedroom house with two bathrooms why should it be so expensive and I'm like, because it's central Miami, mom. It doesn't, you know, and there's like a washer and dryer inside. Um, so it has like a laundry room and everything. And I'm like, mom, it's too expensive. We can't find that in Miami for the price of 800. It doesn't exist. So she's like, fine, then let's look at the efficiencies. And the efficiency that she's going to be getting is a large... It's um, basically like a, a small apartment size. It has a, a dining room, a dining room, living room, kitchen put together, sort of like open space concept uh, with a, a bedroom and a uh, teeny tiny bathroom for $800, $50 less than here. And it's not even half the size of this apartment. <laughs> So my mom's like, wow, that's a lot of money for that little thing. And I keep telling her, well, that's that's the, the rate of inefficiency in Miami, mom. You know this. You've lived here your whole you've lived here for over, I think, 20, 30 years. What makes you think it's gonna be any cheaper? Um and then the efficiency that's in the same property right next to each other, literally. It's literally like you step outside, take two steps, and you're at my door, and vice versa. So the smaller efficiency, uh, which is two bedroom size rooms, one has a bathroom, the other one has a kitchen, and that's pretty much the difference. Uh, other than that, they're literally the size of a small bedroom, both uh, both rooms. Um, it's gonna be for me, and that's basically gonna have like a little living room and a bedroom on the other side, you <laughs> know, bedroom on the other side. Um, and that's going to be my room, my, well, my efficiency, which I think is like around $600, which is pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite happy because finally I have, um, I can say that I have my own place and not have to worry about my mother, uh, being alone and something bad happening to her, uh, her falling or something. I'm going to be right there for her if she needs me, but we're still going to have that separation that makes me have my own private area that she cannot enter unless knocked on the door. But showing her, she'll try to kick it down. <laughs> because she's like, you're my daughter. I can go inside your room and do whatever the heck I want. She did that one time when, when I was married. That was interesting. She knocked on my door and I 
didn't open the door because I was doing something else, didn't hear it, and she tried to knock. She tried to kick the door down. Why? Not because she thought that I was in danger, but because of the fact that she, because I had the audacity of not giving her keys to my own apartment where my husband and I live because I'm her mother. So she should have, so she does, not that she should, she does have the right to go into any room in my house at any moment in time and do whatever she wants, decorate, whatever. <laughs> Basically, that is my, my mom's mentality. Um, so yeah, that's going to be interesting. Um, but I've already talked to the real estate agent, which she's a family friend. And I told her, just tell her that you can have copies of her keys, but, but that, but that I can't have her keys or she can't have my keys, like copies of them. Because if, uh, the, the owner finds out, uh, we will be thrown out just for her not to have copies of my house keys <laughs> to my efficiency. Cause I'm like, no, no, no. But, um, but yeah, I'm really happy and whatnot. And the reason I was doing, I'm doing this video actually, um, is because, um, really quick, besides that good news that I am getting my own place, bad news is that I have to go to all the trouble of moving like back to Miami, um, is that because of this time period and I'm, today's Christmas, by the way, it's December the 23rd, 20, 23rd, 25th, sorry, dyslexic, what can I say? Um, but yeah, uh, in the next couple of days, we will be physically moving into the efficiencies. Uh, so I don't know if I probably won't, just to be honest with you guys, I probably won't. Uh, but just to let you guys know why, um, uh, that I'm probably not going to be doing the horoscope for the beginning of the year, the first month, because I'm going to be, um, swamped with moving, unpacking, um, and just trying to put certain things back into the norm or at least try to uh, go back to what I was doing. But when that starts again, that I can finally say, okay, I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm back to normal. Uh, I will be going back to doing the, uh, horoscope readings, the, the monthly ones. Um, and the reason I don't do them, I'm not going to be doing them right away. One of them is the fact that I'm probably going to be living at my mom's efficiency for the next like week or two, uh, or maybe hopefully less because they haven't finished building the kitchen in mine and my efficiency and the owner doesn't want me to move in just yet until after um the kitchen is complete uh for for obviously for for you know for hazard uh you know i might slip or fall or you know cut myself on a nail or something that there's something there whatever and they have to get it expected by an inspector after it's done so yeah it's gonna take a while um and i I know my mom, she's going to be very nervous and when she's nervous and aggravated, um, she lashes out and that's not a really good, um, environment for doing videos or even, or videos and videos related to using my psychic abilities and doing tarot cards and all that stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to do it, for, uh, do it th this month coming up only because it's, I don't think it's going to be any good because I'm just not going to be, um, my mind, my mind's going to be like, is she coming in the room? Is she in a good mood while I'm trying to do a reading? It just, it just doesn't, it doesn't drive well, well for me. And I want you guys to have quality reading, even though it's, yeah, it is general reading is a general reading, but I want you guys to have a good, you know, a good horoscope reading and not like something half ass. Um, but other than that, that's all I really wanted to let you guys know. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Other than that, guys. Merry Christmas and much love and blessings.